feel uh, since we're all here, it's three o'clock, and we don't want to waste all time. I want to inform y'all that uh, as of 12:30 p.m. today, the Department of Health Office of Public Health rescinded the ball advisory issued to the uh, city of Bossier City water system. So as of 12:30 today, the ball advisory for Bossier City has been rescinded, and we can go back to our normal operations with water. Uh, we're the first major uh, water operation system in the northwest Louisiana to achieve this uh, capability to, to eliminate the ball advisory. We're very proud of that. It was a joint effort by the city, our administration, the support of the city council, uh, Council President Montgomery, and the whole council, and our director of public utilities and city engineers, Mr. Ben Rauschenbach, who sort of oversee it, all of the administrative things and coordination and our chief administrative officer who did a yeoman's job of uh, tracking this and getting the word out to our folks. We have advised Mr. Crawford with the willis Snyden Health System that our water is good for since we have been supporting them with water. And I uh, just simply would like to tell you that we really appreciate y'all responding on us, uh, with us on such short notice to help us get this word out to the, the public just as soon as possible. So that is our announcement, uh, lady and gentlemen. And if anybody has a question, we'll be glad to entertain it. I want to talk about the process. Um, you said you and the city and other agencies work together to make this um, ball advisory lift so quickly. Kind of talk to me a little bit about what other cities could possibly do as well to follow pursuit. Well, first of all, it, we had to make certain that the uh, the council and I both agreed on the priorities of how urgent it was. And that was no question at all. We work extremely well together. But what really made it happen was people in the field, in our public utilities department and the engineering department, knew what it took. They knew what our system capability was, what we needed to look for as symptoms and whatever to correct it or to see if we had any problem. So having the, the capability to know what is normal and what abnormal, uh, they can pick up on things which need to be addressed. You know, a lot of the problems were under ice and snow, and they found initiatives to get around that through joint efforts. And uh, I can't say enough about Mr. Rauschenbach and his uh, people that got out there in this weather, knee deep in water sometimes, making this happen. So it's just a collaborative effort, but we were fortunate in that we have a very good water system. We put in a new system here, what, about eight years ago or something like that. And, uh, but we kept our old system as a backup. And the new system we monitor closely. We got some visual aids that tell us, tells our professionals exactly when something is abnormal. So we were, our people were able to respond almost immediately. Ben, anything you would want to add to that? No. Did that answer your question? Yes, sir. You also, I, I know you provide water for the city of Benton. Technically, I guess, since they, they are our customers, there's three places that are co our customer. So they're getting city water. City water is now has no advisors. Now, they may have issues within their system that I'm not aware of. But ben, can you perhaps address that? That's correct. So uh, the town of Benton is Do y'all need him to get on mic or does it make any difference? It would be helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in his work clothes, by the way. We don't let him take a break to get in his Sunday go to meeting clothes. <laughs> the, the question was, um, how does this impact the town of Benton's water system? And they have pulled their samples today uh, with hopes that they'll get those in the next day. So hopefully within the next 24 hours, they'll have their samples back. And how about those other two questions that you asked? Uh, same, Cypress Black Bayou <laughs> and Country Place. They're in the same boat. So they pulled samples today. It's up to the state to get those samples back, and as soon as they get those back, they will be reporting that to uh, the community. Are they on the same water system as the Bossier City? They, they, uh, they are on our water system. They, they purchase their water from Bossier City. Anything else, lady and gentlemen? Well, again, there'll be a some, little something extra in your paycheck at the end of the month for your quick response to this. Tell your bosses I said that would you? Sure. Going forward, so this is this something that is going to happen again, or is this something is there anything we can do to prepare? 
it's unlikely we will experience a weather weather phenomenon this severe uh, in any short period of time. But then we getting hundred year floods about every other year now, so you never can tell. But uh, we had done a lot of work preparatory to this by having the new, relatively new water system. And I've been with the city over 30 years now, but I remember ever since I've been here, we have attacked those underground lines, found those old concrete pipes, those old steel pipes have been deteriorated and have been replacing them systematically over the years. So a lot of the stuff that's underground that bothers a lot of communities, we have systematically over the years eliminated those. We're going to continue to do those things. I'm sure we learned some lessons and where to identify where all the meters are that we need to check on when we have an incident like that. They had to pick through the snow and ice to try to find some of these under a foot of snow. So we're going to get some as built on all these things we didn't know of before and make certain that should this happen again or when it happens again, we have a much better feel for all the places out in the field we need to check. What was that timeline again? I think you talked about it the last meeting. You kind of said when you guys started, and now again, we finally can say you guys fixed the problem. The board water advisory has been lifted. How long was that process? Weeks, days? Well, it was days. Would you say? Ten days. A day. Eight, eight days. Eight days. Yeah. We, well, we jumped on it right from the oh, get go. Board advisory was Tuesday. No wait. But we put out the boiler battery as soon as we were aware that the system was being interrupted all over. And, and as we always say, in an abundance of caution, put out the boiler battery immediately. So as was pointed out, eight days. Well, if there are no more questions, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you very, very much for helping us get the word out. We consider this very, very important. Good day. Thank you all.